this is a part of the journey to success is learning how to live with yourself and to take risks and not be afraid I basically did have a heart attack, but uh, it didn't it didn't change my diet at all. And uh, in fact, I think it helped me because it allowed me to look into more foods that are orientated for my heart and more foods that are orientated for my immune system and things that will help me build and get stronger. Because if I were to simply run from the problem, you know, I would never find a solution. I, 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 my first option was to get better and then figure out how to prevent it. You know, even if modern science can't tell me there's a way to prevent it, you know, I can't just go and believe what they say either. I'm going to go take my own initiative and do my own research and figure it out along the way for myself. Prior to being vegan, which is approximately two and a half years ago now, um, I was a very different person. I was always into fitness, but I was very different. My personality was more shallow and I was... I was much more arrogant and, you know, n nothing really phased me back then. I could act how I wanted and it didn't really phase me. And then when I stumbled upon veganism and seeing the benefits that it has, you know, the way that it affects the planet, the way it affects animals, animal agriculture, greenhousing, deforestation, you know, it, it made sense to me to make the switch. Being one with nature. And as I started to learn about all these things, I stumbled upon, you know, spirituality and I stumbled upon crystals and energy. And energy was a very big thing to me because that's also part of being a vegan. You don't want to consume the energy of an animal because when an animal is in that process of being killed, slaughtered for us to consume, it's very afraid, it's fearful. And so I don't want to consume their fear. I don't want to live their pain. So I make that you know, the choice, the conscious decision to not accept their pain. I, I make the conscious decision to, you know, let another animal live, you know. Even if it's just one person doing one thing, I'm making one small difference to the world. Prior to the heart attack, I wasn't doing as much yoga and I wasn't really focusing as depth into my spirituality and into crystals. And then after the heart attack, um, I started to meditate a little more. I started to do yoga daily. Upon waking up, the first thing I do is I do yoga, 10 minutes just to alleviate any stress on my body that, you know, if you're sleeping for like eight hours, your body is in, in a standstill. You know, your muscles are, you know, they get stuck in that way. So upon waking up, you know, now, I, you know, I immediately start to do yoga, I meditate. Um, you know, I, I try to only eat a very light diet in the morning. You know, I try to stay away from more cooked foods now. I, most of my diet is about 70% raw and 30% cooked. So I usually only have about one or two meals that are cooked per day. And I feel like that's helped me, you know, beat my condition and improve my condition and prevent any further condition from happening. I, I do like that saying, you know, what doesn't kill you makes you strong. And that's, that's a very true saying. And I feel like that's why it's bringing me all this new energy and all these new people into my life and um, you know I'm, I'm meeting great people and, and I'm having great conversations and um, it's more intelligent and it's more you know it's just more beautiful I feel like the, the, the veganism has brought more beauty into my life along with spirituality.